Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm coming to you with an energy forecast and I wanted to talk about the solstice that we have uh, tomorrow as well as the solar eclipse and the new moon that we have. So what are these energies bringing us? Well, the first thing I want to say is that this is a colossal new beginning. It's a bigger new beginning than the 1st of January this year to 2020, which is was the beginning of a new decade. This new beginning has been coming to us and we've been feeling it coming to us from earlier on this year. So it's almost like everything that's happened in the last three to four months has been a preparation for this. So one of the ways in which you might have experienced this is with old memories, memories of people who have passed on, or perhaps you've lost people uh, that are close to you or friends of yours or acquaintances of yours in the recent months and you have thought of them quite a lot in the, in, in the last weeks. Th this is one of those the energies that is actually talking about bringing endings. It's about bringing closure, um, finishing up things. And that has been one of the energies that has been prevalent. That's been an underlying current of what has actually been going on as part of the preparation for the new beginning. But this new beginning is heralding a whole new you. And it actually asks the question, who are you right now? And how do you define yourself? What are the beliefs that you have about yourself? And how is it that you present yourself in this world? How is it that you interact with the world? What are your belief systems in general? And how do they limit you? Or how do they help you expand? And how do they help you express yourself in this world? And is there room for redefinition of yourself? Is there room for you to create some space to become somebody slightly different or to change your trajectory somewhat so that you can go in a different path and explore another idea of yourself. So there's a complete shift in direction and a change in gears. And for some of you, you may be losing a job or you may be losing or finishing something. It might be you finishing up um, your studies or you may be changing your, play, your residence in some way there's a there's a shift of gears and that is also something that you would have been experiencing or it, there's been some kind of energy leading up to that since March so around the beginning of March you might have felt that there was some kind of um a differentiation in who you were and what you were and and how you would be looking at the world and right now you'll be revisiting those themes again the way in which it's it's kind of here to stay and the way in which it impacts you right now is that it asks you to see where is it that you can actually challenge yourself? What part of you have you not yet unveiled? How is it that you're going to be able to take on this energy and work with it and actually become a braver, more courageous version of yourself? And so this whole, it, all these events are leading up to that. And very much in terms of the international events, in terms of the global events, the pandemic, all of this has been kind of building up to, to actually bring us to this point. So how has it been doing that? Well, you might have found that it actually brings you closer to who you ac you really are. And it helps you to unveil and, um, and discover some aspects of yourself that you might have not um, known before, or perhaps you've lost track of that aspect of yourself. So what it's asking you to do right now is actually just go with the flow. And if you've been resisting everything that's been coming your way in the last months, then you've been having a really difficult time because there are so many changes right now. And as I said, we are shifting gears. So the undercurrents are changing and everything is changing around us. And if we are going to be resisting it, then we're going to be in pain and we're going to be in difficulty because we're not going to be able to cope with what's actually going on uh, right now. Whereas if we just go with the flow and allow ourselves to be led by this energy, and see what comes up for us, then we have greater possibility of being able to transform ourselves and enjoy the ride in the, uh, in the process. And so that is what we are aiming for at this moment. So in terms of what will come up to bear for you, are things that need to be adjusted. There are aspects of your life where there's healing needed or where there's more balance needed or where there's some kind of adjustment needed. And those are the areas of your life which will come up right now. Where is it that you've been limiting yourself and not even known that you've been limiting yourself? So be open to that and be open to being shown where it is that you need to, this healing needs to take place or where it is that you need to adjust yourself. 
What you may have found already as part of the energy of these last few weeks is that a few kinks along the way have been straightened out. And you may have found that things that were stagnant have suddenly had life blown into, into it. And they may have been healing in a particular area of your life, but nothing that you have necessarily instigated. For some of you, this may have been a condition that plagued you for quite a long time, or it may have just been something that you were, were aware of that needed balancing, but that you didn't really need to take care of, or you never felt that you needed to, to bring into perspective and work with it. But now it's miraculously balanced itself and uh, or corrected itself. It may be uh, a physical ailment or perhaps something to do with the mind, um, like a default fantasy that you always reverted to, which has now suddenly gone away and you, you no longer need it. So it's anything where you felt there was something in your life that you didn't need or you didn't understand why it was in your life. And now it's suddenly kind of balanced itself out and it's no longer there. So those are the kind of energies that we're experiencing right now on more than anything else, it's this new beginning, this new beginnings, which I have also talked about in previous energy forecasts um, earlier in this year, as well as later last year. And I think that, you know, wherever you are right now, you are on a new path. You've been on a new path already for the last three to four weeks. And it's really up to you to decide which direction you're going to take, which, which way are you going to lead the trajectory? Which way are you going to um, experience this path because what you need to remember is that it's your response to the given situation to the events of your life which will ultimately impact how it is that you feel and how it is that you manifest your reality and so everything that you deal with you need to be conscious of it and aware of it as you go along because how you respond to it is ultimately going to determine what the outcome is. So you are the one who's going to define things as you go along. And, you know, what you have to realize is that fear is a learned behavior. It's a learned response. And sometimes not responding with fear and responding positively and with love is something that also needs to be learned and also needs to be brought into practice and as a, made into a routine. So that is also something that one can work with at this time in order to be able to refine one's reactions to given circumstances. On the whole, this is the beginning of something grand and wonderful and it will continue to impact you for the next nine years and you will see that you can count the many endings that will be in your life right now and how things kind of tie themselves up and bring itself to a natural end natural completion as you leave behind the remnants the residual of 2019 and i i ask you to uh, mark these days on your calendar because the next three weeks, the next three months and the next three years are going to actually bring about various different levels of changes in your life. And you're going to be able to understand how this timing year has ultimately impacted you within the next while. And it's it's coming in batches of three, you know, and I think it's it's quite relevant. Um, you're going to find that you were able to complete some things within the next three weeks. And then you're going to find that you were able to rebirth certain things within the next three months. And you're going to find that within the next three years, if you're building a business right now, if you've been starting something, you're going to be able to come to a fruitful um, completion of that or the, the end of a certain cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. It's going to be something that's going to be prosperous and, and stable um, come three years down the line. Now, I know that three years down the line is quite a long time to be talking about it, but it's important now that you you think about what it is that you you're doing that you think about the seeds that you're planting because it is ultimately going to impact you down the line and as i said this energy it's going to last us the next nine years so whatever you're working with right now you need to be quite cognizant of that as you go along so i wish you all the best as you plant your seeds and as you set off on your new path and um i wish you all a very happy solstice enjoy the time wear your eclipse glasses if you're going to look at uh, the, the solar eclipse and i'm wishing you all very well your oracle card reading is going to be uploaded on um on monday this week okay sending you so much love and i hope you're all doing fabulously blessings about from kismet rising